Hello, it's Diane. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I ate my lunch. I took a break. I did not go to the post office. I might even just put that off till tomorrow. It's just one of those days. But if you saw, I'm talking about all this because of my previous video where I talked about my frustrations, which I won't go into here. Except to say that I've gotten a few comments already on that, and I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate the encouragement. And a couple of you even, my friend Gail said that um, just because the technology is there doesn't mean we have to use it. I know how to do these videos. I should just stick with this. She didn't say that, but that's what I'm thinking. So for now, I'm just sticking with videos and not trying to do live stream. But what I want to share with you right now is some stuff that perked me up. I got my mail. Um, well, first of all, I gave you a quick glimpse of this pad when I did a tour of my of my um, storage and inventory and stuff. This was with my boho fabrics and things. It's Recollections paper pad. I don't know that it has a name but it just says paper pad, but I thought the papers were wonderful, and it opens this way, for a Bohemian journal. Well, there we go. And there's a lot of paper here. It's 180 sheets. So, then, what I got in the mail today was something I had ordered because Kristen from Rock Paper Treasures showed this on one of her videos. And I went to joannes.com, which is where she got hers. And this is called Bohemian Bouquet, designed by Janice Body, And it's by Ultimate Crafts. It's a heavier paper, and it's double-sided. <clears throat> it is gorgeous. Look at that. I can't wait to use this. And, but I'm still glad I got that the other one from Recollections because oh, obviously that was from Michaels because that's a Michaels brand. Because they're the thinner papers that I can copy dye. Look at those. But along with this, I ordered a couple of stamp sets from Ultimate Crafts. Also, it goes along with this paper collection. So there's a couple of gypsy ladies or bohemian ladies little designs and little phrases may you touch dragonflies and stars dance with the fairies and talk to the man on the moon and this one just has some lovely lovely floral designs and I, I noticed these florals on the paper pad and these ladies too were in the on the journaling cards so these are going to be really great to use so the mail the mail lady left these for me, and that's all I got. And then she just came back and put another package in my mailbox. And this is goes right along. Oh, sorry, I just knocked my paper cutter over. I apologize. But this goes right along with the boho stuff that I got in the mail earlier. So I think that means I need to do a boho journal really, really soon. I was hoping to do um, some domestic arts journals after I finish these prayer journals, but I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, decide when I get the prayer journals done if I'm going to do domestic arts or boho. But either way, the bohos will be done sooner rather than later. So this beautiful package came from Sheila Gingrich um, on Facebook. She has a Facebook group called Boho Daydreams. I will link it below. She has a collection, and I've shown her pieces before. She had a collection of, of um, authentic Indian saris and other garments from that area of the world. And she's collected them for years, and so she has just moved. So she um, was cutting up the pieces in her collection and putting packages together and selling them. So um, there are still some available. She cuts up more, but I, don't, I think she said, I'm not sure, Sheila, but I, I thought that the last post that I just saw 
showed that you might be running low on your supplies by now. You've sold a lot of bundles. So I did a video of the bundle that I purchased from her and directed people to her and to show her appreciation she sent this to me. This is more than I, I haven't looked at it yet, but it's more than I expected from you. And I didn't, didn't expect anything. I just did it because I thought the things were beautiful and I wanted other people to get to see them. But she told me that she was going to be sending me some pieces. And this is a lot more than I was expecting. So let's just stop talking and get right into this. She told me the first time that she took a lot of care in arranging the bundle so that the way it flowed was beautiful. So I want to make sure I pay attention to that too. So this is a beautiful silk tie that she put around it. Beautiful medallion. And, oh, I love that. Beautiful. Every I'm going to say beautiful a lot, so maybe I just won't talk. You get it. I think all of these things are beautiful. This is an iridescent purple and fuchsia. Can you see the colors together in there? So gorgeous. So there's a new word, beautiful and gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, I love this. As I said before, I'm going to have to make my own Bohemian journal first so that I will then be able to let my other pieces go to other people. All right, here's a pale purple fabric with gold design on it, which is wrapped around my bundle. And it's quite long. And again, the gold and the purple are woven together so that it's got a purple background on one side and the gold background on the other. And it's kind of iridescent too. So this is beautiful. I'm going to lay my fabrics right back on here. I'm going to try to keep this bundle just the way she packaged it so I can admire it again later. Okay, so, oh, look at that. Look at that. She told me I was going to love this bundle, and I already do, and I've just barely gotten into it. So precious. And these things work for more than bohemian journals because I haven't made a bohemian journal yet but I used some pieces because um, I've gotten some from Selena too on um, Amour Fabriques this is beautiful and I ordered some from eBay also so I've used some in a renaissance journal I had some pieces that went really well with that and also the mermaid journals that's gorgeous Oh my word, I love that one. This is a nice heavy, see the embroidery on the back? I mean, the where the things are stitched on. So lovely. And I got the Cantha fabrics, the quilt fabrics from Selena. So I want to use those for covers. Oh, I love this. Pink's my favorite color. Gail, do you see this? Pink and blue. It's not quite a turquoise. It might be a pale turquoise, but I think these are the colors you love. And so do I. Oh, it's so pink and shimmery and luscious. I love this. This is going in my journal. <laughs> Sheila. Thank you so much. So she put all the gorgeous, gorgeous um, jeweled pieces right on top. And now the fabrics. Some gold threads in that sheer fabric. There's another sheer with little sequins and that little applique or embroidery on it. Look at it. It's like a metal thread. It's silver.
Yeah, I think I might have to do a boho journal before I get back into the domestic arts. I want to do everything all at once. Do you ever feel that way? I want to do little golden books and the five ring binders. That's so cute. I love this purple. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. little tiny gold metallic threads there. Oh, I love the colors of this one. This would be nice in a Renaissance journal with those jewel tones. Oh, look at the back. So pretty. Doesn't that look like a Renaissance piece? Oh, look at this one. I love that rose or that flower. This is a gorgeous piece. Let me see. Oops, sorry. There. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, I really want to play with this stuff. Look at that. This is heavy with the seed beads and sequins it's a nice big piece you can see where that where it was hemmed into the garment and i think this is from the same garment it's the same fabric background but little um beaded embroidery I'm so glad you decided to share your collection with the rest of us, Sheila. Beautiful. Look at all the sequins on this piece. I hope I'm not boring you, but I don't want to go too fast. I need you to see the gorgeousness of these pieces. I can make a lot of Bohemian journals with what I have now. I love looking at these. I love touching them, but I think I haven't really jumped into making them because I guess I'm a little unsure, but you're not going to learn and get sure of yourself if you don't do it, right? I think I'm ready to jump in, but I have to finish the prayer journals first. And Isabella's little traveler's notebook. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's such a gorgeous pink with some gold design on it. Oh, so pretty. A sheer with more sequined and beaded embroidery. See how you have it laid out. I mean, so pretty. You've got all the purples grouped together here. Not all, but I can see that you took care. That's so pretty. I'm actually studying these a little more to try to figure out what I'm going to do with them. This is the piece that, that the collection was wrapped in. But I think I will know more about what I'm going to do with them once I start playing with them. It's a pretty color. I love this. Love it. Look at that. And even the 
the sheer fabric has a design on it. And now we're going into the peaches and oranges. And there's still some purple here. You can tell Sheila loves these things by the care she takes in packaging them, arranging them even. That looks like a brocade. This could actually even go in a, like a colonial journal. That's what it reminds me of because of the brocade look. And I love these pieces. I love that. I don't know how they do that. Isn't it so pretty? It's different. Looks like threads. Sewn down with, I don't know, but it's really lovely. Oh boy. Sheila, I needed this today. You made my day. Now I feel like crafting. I had, I lost my creative juices after that frustration this morning. This is really pretty. I, I just felt like I don't want to do any of it today. But now I feel like it again. So thank you. I was thinking maybe I need to do my day the other way around. I usually try to I do my work and errands and crafting and stuff and um, in the evening I'll watch YouTube videos and then I see stuff that I want to try or just just seeing what other people make want me make me want to go up in my craft room and be creative even if it, you know it's not like I want to make what they're making I just want to make and so here it is time to go to bed and I'm, I want to be creative, and then I can't sleep. So maybe I should watch YouTube <laughs> during the day and then be creative before bed. This kind of reminds me of a toile. Looks like there's a scene, like flowers and stuff there. I don't know what they would call it in India. It's got other threads on it, which I'll pick off, but isn't that pretty? And... This sheer one. This is purple and green. Now we're getting into the greens. I like this. It's a little stretchy. So I think that getting that order from Joann's with that beautiful paper and stamps and this in the same day was a sign. <laughs> a sign from God. Pretty. And that's it. Oh my goodness, Sheila. This is so gorgeous. I can't believe you sent all of this to me. But I appreciate it so, so much. So um, I will be making journals very, very soon with the gorgeousness of these um, bohemian fabrics. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm going to wrap this little bundle up nicely again and have it to look at later. All right, I appreciate everybody watching, and um, I'm going to get busy now making some stuff. Bye-bye.